I don't know. What did you say? Escape. It's escape. 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 Not escape. Or escape. 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 No, escape. 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 Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name's Kat and I just want to say hey to everyone who used to watch our videos before. I just want to apologise because I actually haven't... I just want to apologise for actually not uploading a video for a few months. I think the last time I uploaded a video was in June. I've just, obviously it's been hectic. Um, fuck, I'm not even in the UK anymore, but I'm currently in Ras Al Khaimah. Um, for a little stay K. Um, but I've moved back to Dubai basically and doing uni online this year just because of the pandemic so I'd rather be in the sun. So today's video is one that obviously I've not done before so I don't know how this is going to go but um, this is a boyfriend tag so obviously if you follow my Instagram you'd see on my stories quite often that this guy is always in them. This guy. This guy is my boyfriend. I'm Dean. Uh, <laughs> uh, I've been living in Dubai for most of my life. So, and yeah, that's pretty much about it. Somehow I met this wonderful woman. Uh, lady, put it that way. Queen, sorry, <laughs> sorry. Okay, so I put on my Instagram yesterday, just basically to ask us any questions, whether you've got questions that you want to ask us both, whether there's questions you want to ask me about Dean or Dean about me. So the first question that we got the most was how did we meet? So the first time we met, I would say it was on Zoom. I think like me, obviously Kat, Laurie, and my best mate Taryn, like we're all planning on going to Greece and stuff like that. To be honest, on Zoom, I didn't even realize that she was um, in Dubai at the time. So like, I thought she was in the UK or whatever. We were all just planning to go to this like holiday fucking thing. Next minute she told us she was in Dubai at that time. So we were like, oh shit, damn, you're in Dubai. Um, so yeah, we ended up going to Kat's house, my girlfriend. And, um, <clears throat> well now, actually. <laughs> I was so shy, like when I met Kat the first time, like I was like, I don't know, it's just like obviously if you find someone very attractive and stuff like that, it's quite hard to speak to them, I don't know, that's just, just me. But uh, yeah, anyways, long story short, that's how I met Kat. Another question that we got, yo, we got a lot of questions, um, how, this is for you, Okay. how do I handle a disagreement? Mm. It's just a lot of storming off when it comes to cat. Uh, that's what I would. That's what I would say. A lot of storming off. A lot of storming off and be like, "Hey, follow me," sort of shit. So that's what I try to. That's what I think about. Um, but obviously, I guess that's normal. I mean, if you've known me in my life, you know I've got a flair for the dramatic side. Yeah, she thinks <laughs> it. Like, like, yeah, she likes it. And I'll just be like, at the end of the day, like I always try to be realistic about the situation. As she as she knows so like i'm just always just like hey let's just sit down let's just chat about it let's just get it over and done with and move on sort of type of shit i'm not all about that being around that bush sort of shit so yeah but yeah i don't know it's just it depends on the situation obviously um i just sit her down and just be like yo let's just chat about it and not fuck about so yeah okay a question we another question we got was what did you guys do on the first date? So, so what did we do? Boom. Um, he likes to say that he remembers everything, but he doesn't. I really don't. Um, so was we both have a massive love for sushi. So Dean took me to this all-you-can-eat sushi place. Um, it's called Itsu down in Dubai Marina, and uh, you know. It's fucking mad. I love it. I eat so much. <laughs> somebody thinks that they were the bee's knees and claimed that they could out eat sushi. And I did beat you by fucking miles. He didn't. He, he beat me you. by like three plates. And the three plates have like three things on them. So he only beat me by like nine pieces of sushi. That I got asked, what was my, what's my favorite thing about Dean? What is it? I have a lot of favorite things, but okay. One of my favorite things is, as you would have seen, he is taller than me. So, uh, it's fucking score, you know. Um, but I would... <laughs> I would say my favorite thing about Dean is because he's South African, it's nice that I have like that link to someone 
because obviously my dad being half like South African and when he talks like like a proper Sappho and he does his like South African lingo like it's just so nice because it just reminds me I'm like yeah thank god I'm not stuck with a British person like no offense to all Brits out there but you're a bit boring my favorite thing about you just sometimes I think your smile like when you don't what? <laughs> I like your smile, babe. Just sometimes, just sometimes, just sometimes the way, sometimes the way you look at me, like I don't know. Um, but yeah, I guess that's that's about it. I didn't even know. <laughs> Two questions, but kind of form into one. So, if I could change one thing about Dean, that was the question. But it also links to one thing that you both find annoying about each other. So this is what I find annoying about him, and I wish I could change is. The boy doesn't listen to me. Like that. Okay. No, 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 okay, no, 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 no. Fuck off. <laughs> no, no, no. Does he listen to me? No. I'm not always right, but like when I say like I do know when I'm right, and then he doesn't listen to me, and then I get proven right, and it, it's just it's, it's such a pet peeve. Is your question to answer? I don't know. I, I, I didn't even think about this, maybe. I need the to... point. So that was like basically one thing that I find annoying in Dean. So, what do you find annoying in me? Um, <laughs> so, obviously, one thing I find very annoying and absolutely not humanly, no, womanly, sorry, I changed my thing. I, I understand it's a completely normal thing for human beings to do. She burps, but like, like wait, wait, wait. It's not, it's not just any ordinary burp, right? It's fucking loud, firstly. Secondly, it stinks. <laughs> it stinks. Your favorite moment together as a couple? Mm. Are you gonna answer this? No, you can answer. <sighs> Put me on the spot yeah. once again. Favorite moments, obviously, definitely when we, when I officially asked Kat out, like, Hey, do you want to be my girlfriend? Sort of thing. <laughs> Obviously, yeah, that was one definitely one of my favorite moments. What about Dean tells me daily that he's the one for me? The the amount that I care for this boy is like ridiculous, and I don't think like like none of like none of my friends have seen me kind of like this. I've had messages from a lot of people like, oh, it's so nice, to, like so nice to see this happy and all that. And I think it's just like. You know, waking up to him, like he pretty much is the first thing that I see when I wake up and he's the last thing I see when I go to bed. And it's just, and it's so nice that we can completely like just be ourselves with each other. Like, you know, like I'll, like, I don't care. Like I'll burp in front of him or whatever. Like he'll fart in front of me. Like it's just us being so comfortable. I don't fart by the way. It's just, we're so comfortable. The difference we... is, is that my, my farts don't stink. <laughs> When her burps absolutely fucking rake. He makes such an effort with me, with my family, and you know, vice versa. And I just look at him and I'm just like, you know, it's just I don't want to like he like it just makes me fall in love with him like even more like all the time. One thing that stood out to you about each other before you came a couple, his height. I don't up. understand because like I told Kat, I was like, listen, I'm six foot three. Yes, like before I met her, like I'm six foot three. Like, but, you know, like what do you mean? I can, <laughs> I can tiptoe when I kiss him. I can wear heels and I'm not taller than him. Like, do you know how nice that is? Now, one thing, one thing, one thing that's about me, about Kat is that like, I don't know. Like, I would say she's very understanding. Like, just, just where she understands. Like, she understands like everyone's points of view of things. You know what I mean? And like, that's that's something really big for me as well. Like, if. Like, just imagine if this type of situation happened on my side and how would I feel about it? She would be like, yeah, I get you. But obviously, such a bonus that she's fucking a 20 out of 10. Absolutely gorgeous. That's another bonus and something that definitely stood out to me. No. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. One of his motocross buddies said, why don't I let him play the PS4? I do. I don't let him play COD because when I'm... When I go to his house and he wants to play COD, he's on there for hours chit-chatting to his friends and I'd rather him do that when I'm not there. Otherwise, there's no point in being there. That's just simple, simple math. Ah. 
I also, <laughs> I also let him play the PS4 because I play with him. And what do we play? We play GTA. I'm quite good at it. Which then leads to the next question, who is better at video games? I would like to say myself. No, before that. I well, am better at video games. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes. Firstly, going back on the COD topic, which is, lads, something that will change. Yeah, sorry, by the way, because I'll be gaming with the boys quite a bit. The one thing you're good at is spotting out the cars on GTA, and I think you make me go steal the car and go fetch them for you. Uh, and then all she does is spend all my money on tricking out the car cars. But sorry. if you could see the cars that are tricked out, like, they're good. Yes, yeah, my hard work and my money she's spending. The heist all by myself, and if you play GTA 5, it was the one where they robbed the Sandy Shores bank and the military was there, and I fucking thrashed them all. How many times did it take you to do that Once. mission? Bullshit. Once, dead serious. Who is the fittest? I would say Cat is way out of my league. 100%. Yeah, I'm defo. Fittest. Yeah. I'm joking. Um, uh, I'm just the ugly duckling, duckling no. that she just scored. No, he's not. Yeah. You're beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, you're beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah. 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 Big facts. Um, who said I love you first? Me. Yeah. Um, he said it back by accident. I was filming a Snapchat video, as you do, and I was like, je t'aime. And he said it back. And then didn't realize. Mate, what the fuck is je t'aime? Like, what? I'll just fucking say it. Mate. So, yeah, so I said je t'aime, and then he said it back, and my face dropped in the video. Here we go again. Like, Snapchat. I was, because he, I knew he didn't know what it meant, and then we told him what it meant, and he kind of was like, ugh. Um, so then it was a bit of a kick in the face for me, because I had, like, I've already told him that I loved him. Like, and I knew that. Because I'm his first girlfriend and like I didn't expect him to say it back. Like I knew, like, do you know what I mean? Like it's fine. But that's how I felt at the time, so I told him. That evening he was walking up the stairs, we were going to bed, because Laurie was absolutely sloshed, so I had to look after Laurie. So Laurie was trying to be a turtle on Dean's bed and Dean was coming up the stairs and I gave him a hug and I just said it and I was just like, I love you. And he said it back and like you I nearly had a heart attack because like I didn't expect it. And like, Dean will never say anything unless he means it. Like, I knew, as soon as I said it, I was like, I knew she knew what I said, but she said, say it again. And I was like, fuck. Maybe she didn't hear what I said, but I was like, nah, nah, she definitely knew. She definitely knew I said it. She just wants reassurance. So I was like, fuck, it's a bit late now, isn't it? So I was just like, fuck it. And then I just said it. Do you regret saying it then? No. Um, and our final question, I saved obviously this one for last, is when is our anniversary and what are we doing? We've been together for just over three months, so we've already had like our three month anniversary. And it seemed like a long time, but yeah, it's got Oh my like, God, three months. Uh, it? Yeah, but it's got, it's, it doesn't feel like three months. Like it literally feels like I've been with him forever. Like, you know, um, this is what we're doing with Stay K, cause it's kind of like, we've not been able to do a lot, obviously due to COVID and stuff. So this was just a nice thing for us to kind of do and just get out and away, but. Yeah, get away from all the madness that's happening. So, they were all the questions that I received in this, like, two-day period. Um, so, yes, this is obviously my boyfriend. And this is my girlfriend. Yes. I thought this would be a nice video to do kind of as an introduction back because he's a big part of my life and, you know, he's gonna, he's gonna make more appearances and videos. Just, just wait. I hope you enjoyed getting to know my boyfriend a little bit more and it's been nice to have a little catch up with everyone. Um, thank you for the people that... What? Thank you for everyone obviously that sent in questions. If you would like to subscribe, please be my guest. Share a bit of love and give it a like. Subscribe, give it a like, hashtag YouTube vlogger. Um, <laughs> also, if you want to go check out my Instagram, um, and obviously I'll post more updates on upcoming videos on there. So just stay tuned for that. And yeah, thank you for watching guys and I'll see you soon.